good morning today we are going to discuss the colligative properties of solutions we know that when a non volatile solute is added to a solvent becomes a solution and the vapor pressure of that solution is lower than the vapor pressure of pure solvent now there are many properties associated with this decrease of vapor pressure when a non volatile solute is added to a solvent and we call these properties colligative properties so what are colligative properties they are the properties of solution containing non volatile solute when added to a solvent that properties depends upon the relative number of solute particles but does not depend upon its nature they are called colligative properties so colligative properties are the properties of solutions containing non volatile solute which depends upon the relative number of solute particles but does not depend on its nature that is these properties will depend upon the number of solute particles present in the solution now there are four colligative properties that we have to study the first one is relative lowering of vapor pressure second is elevation of boiling point of solvent third is depression of freezing point of solvent and fourth is osmotic pressure of solution so next we are going to discuss each of these properties in detail and we have a derivation coming under each property and from the derivations we are able to find an expression we get an expression to find the molecular mass of solute in solvent so we are going to discuss each colligative property the first one is relative lowering of vapor pressure of solvent one relative lowering of vapor pressure of solvent now here there are two questions the first question is show that the relative lowering of vapor pressure of a solvent is equal to its mole fraction of solute and the second question is determine or calculate the molecular mass of a solute from relative lowering of vapor pressure so we can say that the relative lowering of vapor pressure is a colligative property because it depends upon the number of solute particles present but does not depend upon their nature so relative lowering of vapor pressure is a colligative property now we are going to start the derivation we know that the vapor pressure of a solution is lower than the vapor pressure of pure solvent and the relation between vapor pressure of solution vapor pressure of pure solvent and mole fraction is that is according to rolls law is pa is equal to p not a into xa now when you add a non volatile solute to the solution solvent the vapor pressure of solution decreases so that reduction in vapor pressure of the solvent denoted by delta p so delta pa because this is the reduction in vapor pressure of the solvent delta pa will be equal to p not a minus pa where delta pa is the reduction in vapor pressure of solvent p not a is the vapor pressure of pure solvent and pa is the vapor pressure of solution now which is equal to i am going to substitute for pa p not a into xa so this is equal to p not a minus p not a into xa or equal to p not a into 1 minus xa now we know that for binary solutions xa plus xb is equal to 1 therefore xb will be equal to 1 minus xa so i am going to substitute instead of 1 minus xa xb so you can see delta pa is equal to p not a into xb or delta pa divided by p not a is equal to xb 
or instead of delta P A. Delta P A is the reduction in vapor pressure of solvent. Delta P A is equal to P naught A minus P A divided by P naught A is equal to X P. So this is the answer for our first question. That is, show that the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to the mole fraction of solute. X B is our solute, and this term P naught A minus P A divided by P naught A is the relative lowering of vapor pressure. So this is the expression to prove that relative lowering of vapor pressure of solvent is equal to the mole fraction of solute. Now the answer for the second question that is we had to determine the molecular mass of solute from relative lowering of vapor pressure. So we are going to start from here that is P naught A minus P A by P naught A is equal to X B. Now we are going to substitute for X B. So P naught A minus P A divided by P naught A. X B is equal to N B divided by N A plus N A. Nb that is mole fraction of solute number of moles of solute by total number of moles of all the components present in solution now for dilute solutions nb is very less than na that is number of moles of solute is less than number of moles of solvent for very dilute solutions so we can neglect this term nb in the denominator so our expression becomes p not a minus p a divided by p not a is equal to n b by n a now we are going to substitute for n b and n a we know that n b is equal to given mass by molar mass it is w b by n b divided by n a is w a by n a or we can write this as W B into M A divided by M B into W A or P naught A minus P A divided by P naught A is equal to this. Now you know what each term is. This side is the relative lowering of vapor pressure. W B is the mass of solute in gram ma is the molar mass of solvent mb is the molar mass of solute and wa is the mass of solvent now we are going to get an expression for mb that is molar mass of solute so from this expression i am going to write mb will be equal to wb into ma mb equal to divided by wa into p not a divided by p not a minus p a so this is our expression for relative lowering of vapor pressure that is p mb is equal to wb into ma divided by wa into p not a by p not a minus p a so this expression is used for the calculation of molecular mass of solute from relative lowering of vapor pressure so if you know all these parameters w b m a w a p not a and p a we can calculate the molecular mass of solute so this is the derivation to find the molecular mass of solute from relative lowering of vapor pressure now the second colligative property is elevation of boiling point of solvent so roman numeral 2 the second colligative property is elevation of second colligative property is elevation of boiling point of solvent now we know that what do you mean by the term boiling point boiling point is the temperature at which vapor pressure of 
the liquid equals atmospheric pressure we know that the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius or equal to 373 kelvin so we know that at this temperature that is a 373 kelvin the vapor pressure of water will be equal to the atmospheric pressure and atmospheric pressure is usually taken as 1 bar or 1.013 bar okay now to this water i am adding a non volatile solute like sucrose so we know it becomes a solution now and the boiling point of solution or the vapor pressure the vapor pressure of solution decreases in the beginning we had only water that is solvent the vapor pressure was very high and now when i added a non volatile solute the vapor pressure of solution decreases now if i want to make that solution boil i should increase the temperature above the boiling point of pure water that is 373 kelvin so that the vapor pressure of the solution becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure we know that a solution will boil only when its vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure so to make that solution which contains a non volatile solute to boil i should increase the temperature above the boiling point of water that is 373 kelvin so we can see that always the boiling point of a solution will be higher than boiling point of pure solvent so this you have to keep in mind that is boiling point of solution is greater than boiling point of solvent now let's see the derivation to get an expression for molecular mass of a solute from elevation in boiling point so you know that when we added a non volatile solute the boiling point of the solution increased so that's called elevation in boiling point now to study the uh, derivation first we had to plot a graph and from the graph we will Uh, derive an expression for the molecular mass of solute so the graph i'm going to draw the graph the graph is between vapor pressure and temperature now look at the graph the graph is plotted between vapor pressure and temperature now this is the curve for solvent and this is the curve for solution now you can see solvent this is the boiling point of solvent denoted by t not b and this point is the boiling point of solution denoted by tb now this is the vapor pressure that is 1 atm now this difference is our delta tb that is change in boiling point here in this case it is increase in boiling point so this is the graph for vapor pressure against temperature okay now we are going to start the derivation so let t not b be the boiling point of pure solvent and tb be the boiling point of solution therefore increase in boiling point delta tb is equal to tb minus t not b 
Tb is the boiling point of solution and T0B is the boiling point of pure solvent. And we know that when a non-volatile solute is added, the boiling point of solution increases than the boiling point of pure solvent. So it is Tb minus T0B. And this delta Tb is called elevation in boiling point. Delta Tb is elevation in boiling point. Now, for dilute solutions, the boiling point is directly proportional to molality. That is, elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molality for dilute solutions. So, we can write it as delta Tb proportional to small m. It is molality or delta Tb is equal to Kb into small m, where Kb is called Kb is called the molal elevation constant or boiling point elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant ebullioscopic constant and the unit of Kb is Kelvin kilogram per mole. So, Kb is called the molal elevation constant or boiling point elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant. Now, I am going to give this expression number 1, delta Tb is equal to Kb into small m. Next, I am going to substitute for molality small m. You know that molality is the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 kilogram of solvent. So, I am going to substitute for molality in equation number 1. So, it will be delta Tb or I will write the expression for molality. m is equal to Wb divided by Wa into mb into 1000. 1000 is written when the mass of solvent is given in grams. Now I am going to substitute for molality in equation number 1. Then delta Tb equal to Kb into Wb into 1000 divided by Wa into Mb. From this I am going to write the expression for Mb that is molecular mass of solute. Mb is equal to 1000 Kb Wb divided by delta Tb into Wa. So, this is the expression to find the molecular mass of solute from elevation in boiling point. Kb is the molal elevation constant and its value will be given to you in the question. Wb is the mass of solute, delta Tb is the elevation in boiling point and delta Tb is equal to Tb minus T0B that is boiling point of solution minus boiling point of pure solvent and Wa is the mass of solvent. So, this is the expression to find Mb, molecular mass of solute from elevation in boiling point. Now, we are going to discuss or we are going to get uh, a definition for molal elevation constant that is Kp. Kb. Okay. So, molal elevation constant define Kb. Kb from that expression we know that delta Tb is equal to Kb into small m. Now, if molality is equal to 1, then delta Tb will be equal to Kb. So, from this you can give a definition for Kb that is molal elevation constant. It is the elevation in boiling point of solution when one mole of a non-volatile solute is added to 1000 gram of solvent. So, that is the definition for molal elevation constant or a bilioscopy constant Kb. Okay. Now, this elevation in boiling point can be considered as a colligative property. Why? 
because here this elevation in boiling point depends upon the number of solute particles and in this case it depends upon concentration term molality that is the number of solute particles dissolved in 1000 gram of solvent so we can call this elevation in boiling point a colligative property okay so with this we finish the uh, expression for uh, elevation in boiling point molecular mass of solute from elevation in boiling point now number 3 is the third colligative property is depression in freezing point of solvent so we are going to discuss about that number 3 depression in freezing point now what do you mean by freezing point freezing point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a substance in liquid state becomes equal to the vapor pressure in its solid state that is we can say a solution will freeze when its vapor pressure becomes equal to the vapor pressure of pure solid solvent now suppose I add a non-volatile solute. Suppose you consider a, a ice water system, ice and water in equilibrium. Now I am going to add a non-volatile solute to this. We know that the vapor pressure of the solution decreases. Now I want to freeze this solution. So I should lower the temperature of the solution and I should lower it in such a way that it should be lowered, the temperature should be lowered than the freezing point of pure solvent. So we can say that the freezing point of a solution is lower than the freezing point of pure solvent. And we call this depression in freezing point. Now we have to get an expression to find the molecular mass of solute from depression in freezing point. For that we have to plot a graph. Now the graph. This is vapor pressure. Again the graph is plotted between vapor pressure and temperature. Now this is our liquid solvent. And this is solution and this is the frozen solvent. This is liquid solvent and this is our solution. This is frozen solvent. Now this temperature this is the solution curve so this temperature is the freezing point of solution and this temperature this is starting from liquid so solvent curve so this is the freezing point of pure solvent T naught F and we know that the freezing point of solution is lesser than the freezing point of solvent. And it is also clear from the graph. This Tf is the freezing point of solution. Its value is lower than T naught F, which is the freezing point of pure solvent. So this is the graph for vapor pressure against temperature for depression in freezing point. Now, again, let uh, T naught F is the freezing point of pure solvent and Tf is the freezing point of solution. Now, by the addition of a non-volatile solute, there is a decreasing freezing point of uh, solution. Therefore, decrease in freezing point that is given by delta Tf is equal to T naught F minus Tf because the freezing point of solvent is always higher. Now, delta Tf is called the depression in freezing point. This is our depression in freezing point. Now for very dilute solution, 
the depression of freezing point is proportional to its molality so delta tf is proportional to small m or delta tf is equal to kf into small m i'm going to give this equation number 1 where kf is called molal depression constant or molal sorry or freezing point depression constant or cryoscopic constant now the unit of kf is also same as unit of kb that is kelvin kilogram per mole and again we are going to substitute for molality in equation number 1 so i will write delta tf is equal to kf into wb into 1000 divided by mb into wa now from this expression i am going to write the expression for mb mb will be equal to 1000 kf wb divided by delta tf into wa so this is the expression to find molecular mass of solute from depression in freezing point now suppose you want to define kf you take the expression delta tf is equal to kf into m if m is equal to 1 delta tf is equal to kf so we can define kf kf is called the molal depression constant kf is the depression in freezing point of a solution when one mole of non volatile solute is added to 1000 g of solvent same way uh, this depression in freezing point is a colligative property because it depends upon molality that is number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 kg of solvent or 1000 g of solvent now there is an expression given in the book to find the value of kf and kb but usually in problem questions the value of kf and kb will be given to you but still we have to learn that expression that is kf and kb kb expression is r into ma into t not b square divided by 1000 into delta h vaporization so this is the expression to find kb value and kf value is r into ma into t not f square divided by 1000 into delta h of fusion now r is the gas constant ma is the uh, molar mass of solvent t not b is the boiling point of pure solvent here t not f is the freezing point of pure solvent and delta h vaporization this is the enthalpy of vaporization and this is enthalpy of fusion so study these expressions uh, that is this is the expression to find the uh, value for kf and kb okay so with this we finish the first three colligative properties thank you